Hello and welcome back to Tiny Rebel Advent Calendar. Today is day 14, so let's crack it open and see what we've got, shall we? Another blue can, we have got a Florida Orange IPA at 4.5%. Is that there? Um, this um, is another vegan beer. It says the eye is orange, the nose is orange, the taste is orange. So I'm assuming it's just orange. Um, the guff says, There was always that one drink our parents would never let us have. But now we're all uh, grown up. So but now we're all grown up, so I've had a shot. I turned it into a beer. It's something orangey and bright, unlike that stuff with bits. Never ending summers, no compromises. Your own, uh, yours to drink, drink up. Um, and then it's got bold letters. Um, I'm assuming the drink that he was on about is. Sunny D. I've never had Sunny D. I'm sure it's just cordial in America and it tastes crap. Uh, but that was by Joe O'Brien, age 25 and a half, brewer, seller, and yeast wrangler. It says that there. So I will come back when I'm ready to drink this later tonight. So I shall see you then. Welcome back to the Tiny Rebel um, Advent Counter. Today's 14. Um, gone through all the can before i didn't go through the can art though it's just a couple of balloons red balloons um yeah uh but it's the florida orange ipa so let's crack it open shall we and see what we've got Interest. So, just pour the last little bit in a minute. We have got a uh, very thick looking beer. Very. Oh. Yeah, a lot of carbs think, uh, still clinging to the glass. Um, very thick looking, juicy beer. Ivory, loose, very loose, soapy bubbles um, for the head. No compactness at all. It looks. What is all that? Is that it's on the inside? think anyway looks quite nice um there we go there's the last bit let's get a smell shall we see what we get oh no floaters let's get a smell a lot of orange a lot of orange fresh orange juice nice little citrusy bit in it Smells nice. Let's get a mouthful for budding carb. Body's light, carb is light as well. Let's go for a big old taste because I got some there. Uh, cheers. It's, it says it tastes like orange, it says the eye, of the nose and the taste is all orange, but it tastes quite fake. Um, it tastes like cordial, but not expensive cordial, it tastes like cheap cordial. Um, it's got a bitterness and a dryness as well, which I wasn't expecting. That's really, that's got a proper bitterness to it kind of bitterness you expect in tippers um it's it's here um it says it's meant to be like sunny d i've never had sunny d but if this is what sunny d is meant to taste like I, I don't want it i don't want it at all Mm. 
know. When I got this, I thought this would be great. Nice fresh oranges, citrus, proper freshly squeezed juice. It's not, it's quite cordial like. It's like, it tastes worse than that. And I, I don't like this. And this tastes worse than that. It's, it's just not nice. I'm only drinking it because I'm hoping it gets better. And two, because it's been paid for. But. God, that's horrible. It tastes too fake. It doesn't taste like orange juice. It's too bitter. It's too dry. It's not. It doesn't remind me of an IPA. And I usually say if, if it's got a twist and it's not your typical IPA, then that's good. But only if it tastes good. I mean, come on. I can't say it's good if it's not good. God, what was I thinking? I don't know. I don't know. I'm only drinking it because it's been paid for. Um, someone points out in the comments that whenever this bit's read out, whenever it's someone who's not high up in the ranks, they tend to be quite poor, but when it's someone who's quite high up in the ranks working for Tiny Rebel, the beers tend to be really good. And since they pointed out, I can't remember who said it, but it's on my last video. Since they pointed it out, I've noticed that, and it, the, the, the right, all the good beers are made by, or at least said by, like, high up people, the heads of, or the CEO, or people like that, and it's, they're absolutely right. This is, who's this? Brewer, seller, and yeast wrangler. I don't know if it's been done on purpose that they've made poorer beers for the sort of lower down people, the people who actually do the stuff, um, and they've, they've saved all the nice ones for themselves. I don't know, but it looks like it. Anyway, I'm going to finish this and then end the video. It doesn't get better. It does not get better. Oh. oh, God, that's so bitter. So bitter. God, that's horrible. Oh. Anyway, all right, so Tiny Rebels 14, Florida Orange IPA. What have you put in that? That is horrible. I'm so, hold on. It says it's vegan, but it's got lactose in it. That's not right. Vegan. Milk. Don't know. Uh, won't question it, but yeah. Um, out of ten, I'm pro that's probably the worst one in this calendar. It's horrible. I feel a bit ripped off, just a little bit. I'm open. Every, if every beer after this this one is perfect, gets nines and tens, fine. Probably money well spent. But if if they don't, I won't be happy at all. <clears throat> Pardon me. Oh, God, that tastes horrible. So out of ten, I'm probably going to give that a two. That is one of the worst beers I've ever had ever. That that's downright disgusting. Um, so, if you've had this, please let me know what you think, if you like it, if you don't. Uh, if you've not had it, I'll leave the Tiny Rebel website down below, where you can buy the calendar still. Um, at least, I last checked a couple days ago. Um, if you want it, down to you. If you like the video, thumbs up, thumbs down, all that usual stuff. If you want to subscribe, consider doing so, because the show must go on, etc, etc, so on and so forth. And I'll see you later. Bye.